Tuna? Yes, ma. Go inside my room. Close to the pillow. You will see my handbag. Help me and bring it. Okay, ma. Uh-huh, mommy. This is the bag. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Tuna, please help me and go to that shop close to Mama Emeka's shop. You will find an orange seller close to the shop. Okay, ma. Help me and give him this money. Tell him the money is for Mama Tuna. I bought some oranges from him the other time. And I, I didn't pay him. Okay? And please, don't stay long. I don't want you to come back and be giving me stories that this is the reason why you, 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 you didn't come back in time. Okay? No, mommy, I won't stay long. Good. Moments later. Welcome, Babatuna. Babatuna, welcome. Baba Tuna, are you not the one I'm talking to? Why are you not answering me? See, Mama Tuna, please, don't disturb me. I am really frustrated right now. I don't have any time for any problem right now. The downfall of my business alone is a problem on its own. Not to talk of you troubling me like this. Baba Tuna, I don't seem to understand what you are talking about. Now, let me tell you what is going on. Let me tell you something. My business... It's not going well. 90% of my customers are gone. Due to what? Because I cannot afford to buy the latest equipment to give them a very good job. So now, what is the way out? Way out? There's no way out, Mama Tuna. The only way out is for you and your son to manage the resources we have at home. Well, the reason I am here waiting for you to come back is that I just wanted to let you know that we don't have any food left in the house. The only food we have now is just rice. Okay. So now I want you to give me some money so I can go to the market tomorrow to buy more food. Look at this woman. Are you deaf? Am I speaking French? I just told you that my business is not going well and I don't have any money on me. You people should go and manage what you have in the house. What is wrong with you? All I'm saying is that just give us little money so we can add more foodstuffs in the house. See, Mama Tuna, I don't have time for your drama. Just do what is best for you and don't add to my problem. Please, I'm warning you. What kind of nonsense is this one? I just told you that we don't have food in the house and he just walked out of me just like that. Is this how a responsible father used to treat his family? This man, this man, this man, this man will not kill me in this house. Okay. Mommy. Oh. What is the problem? Why are you calling me? Nothing, ma. It's just that I, I came to tell you that I am hungry. I guess it's dinner time now. So now, are you the one to tell me the best time for us to eat in this house? Are you the one to control me in this house? No, ma. So why are you telling me it's time for dinner? Anyway, the food is almost ready. Just wait a little. So, mommy, what are you cooking in the kitchen? Why are you asking me that kind of question? 
Nothing, ma. I just want to know. Okay, I am cooking rice. Rice again? Yes, rice. But mommy, we ate rice in the morning, same thing in the afternoon, and now again this night we are eating rice. Yes, that's what we have and that's what we are going to eat tonight. Chai. If you like, when the food is ready, don't eat it. You will see what I will do to you. Tuna? Where are you going to? Come back here. So I am now your mate. I am talking to you and you walk out of me. Is it my fault that we are eating rice every time? Why can't you go and ask your father why we are eating rice alone in the house? If you like, when I cook the rice, waste it, don't eat it. You will see what I will do to you. Will you get out of my sight now? Look at his coconut head. Idiot. A few moments later. Oh, my God. Tuna? Tuna? Come over here, the food is ready. Mommy, I'm here. Uh -huh. Go to the kitchen and go and take your food. Come back here. Where are you going to? I want to go and eat the food in my room. You want to do what? You want to eat the food in your room? No way. Sit down there and eat the food in front of me. I want to be seeing you while you are eating the food. But mommy, this food is too much for me. Eh? That is none of my business. As far as I'm concerned, you must finish this food whether you like it or not. Tuna, is that not my phone ringing inside? Yes ma, it's your phone. Should I go and bring it for you? No, don't worry. I'll go and take it myself. And if you like, don't finish that food. You see what I'll do to you. What kind of thing is this? How will someone eat rice in the morning, afternoon and night? This is this is this is wickedness. I don't know why mommy is doing this to me. What if now rice starts growing on my head? What will I do now? Ah, rice in the morning, rice in the afternoon, rice in the night. I have an idea. I know what to do. Tuna, what are you doing? So you want to waste my food? You want to throw the food away? No, mommy. I was not convenient eating from the plates. That's why I want to eat from the nylon. Eh? So you are not okay with eating your food from the plates? So you decided to turn into a goat that eats his food from the nylon? Mommy, I promise I won't do it again. Someone like you that want to waste food that thousands of people are looking for can never go unpunished. I must deal with you in this house. And let me tell you something. When I finished 
descending on you. In your life, in your life, you will never waste food again. Chai! What? What's up, my friend? Thank you for watching this week's episode of Tuna and Family Comedy Video. Please don't forget to comment on this video, like and share with your friends. And if you are a new viewer on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And we'll be here same time next week. Bye bye. 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 Bye.